Do you know that barbecue sticks can also be used for painting? to try a painting technique called Sagrafito. I'm going to use acrylics in the experiment to see if this works with oil paints. Sagrafito is an Italian word for this kind of technique where patterns of contrasting color are made by scratching on a surface. I decided to try acrylics for the contrasting color beneath the surface because this type of paint dry more quickly compared to oil paints. The quick dry feature of acrylics is a reason I am not a fan of this paint. I tried painting with acrylics before, but I did not like how they blended. Maybe because I take a lot of time in mixing colors. I prefer oil paints because its slow dry features gives more time for the artist to blend colors on both palette and canvas. That's why some oil-based artworks take days or even months to dry. But I guess the quick dry feature of the acrylics make it even more popular to many people. Somehow I have to fight back my prejudice against acrylics in this experiment. But I'll only use acrylics if this turns out well. After putting the colored background, I'm adding a black oil paint surface. I'm sure this technique is familiar to most millennials like me. Hey fellow millennials, don't tell me your teacher did not tell you to bring barbecue sticks for your art class. When we're kids, we use oil pastels for this technique. I haven't tried doing this technique with oil paints, so it would be better if I practice first. The greatest mistake I made in this experiment was that I added too much linseed oil in the black paint. Aside from not drying quickly, the patterns I tried to put would not show up because the paint is not too viscous. Also, the pattern could not be seen because the colors I used in the covered surface are dark. I waited again for 3 hours, but the results are still the same. I tried another experiment where I used oil painting instead of acrylics in the background. I find that oil paints are also good for this kind of technique. Also, I did not add too much oil for the black paint so the color beneath was seen when scratched. Besides, this one dried quickly compared to the first. Since oil paints are good for this technique, it's time to ditch the acrylics then. I'm going to use Windsor & Newton Sansodor as my solvent for the actual painting. Sansodor is an odorless mineral spirit. I'll use contrasting colors for the background surface this time. I have been imagining hues of blue, pink, and yellow at first, but after seeing my second experiment, I thought pink and yellow would be the perfect pair. I 
I should have used adhesives to keep the canvas in place. After part one, let's wait for a little while for the paint to dry. In achieving the Sagrapito technique, black is usually used as the surface color. But I will not color the whole canvas black. I will leave a space for the main subject of my piece, which is an albatross. I don't know why I chose an albatross as my subject. All I was thinking was to paint a bird that flies above the sea. Maybe because it looks awesome with widespread wings. I did my best to cover most of the parts with black so I would not miss an inch. I tried adding a bit of white to the black paint because I planned to add a shadow beneath the bird, but the darker color overcame. I initially thought that blue mixed with burnt shenna would pass as the bird shadow, but it only blended with a dark color. What happened instead was that I turned the shadow into a lighter color to contrast the black background. Here's the moment of truth. Will the Sagrafito technique work? Yay! It did! It's fun making patterns. I just have to wipe the stick onto the tissue over and over again to remove the excess paint that stuck to it. Stage 2 is done and I will wait for a few days before this painting is dry. It took me about a week before I continued my work. A day before that, I practiced painting an albatross on my canvas paper. This will become the model for my main work. I had to outline and color block the subject before painting the details. I had to thicken the amount of paint to cover the deep creases left by the Sagrafito technique. Like this part, I had to paint the surface over and over again so the lines of the underlying surface would be covered. I had to do the same on these parts. I had to rest for about 30 minutes before continuing with the details. Honestly, I was not quite happy with this because I later realized that the subject was too big for the canvas. 
I found that the wings that I made were too small for an albatross. I would have loved it better if the wings were wider than this one. The albatross is one of the widest birds in nature and have a really long wingspan, measuring up to almost 4 meters. I don't think this albatross that I'm making reaches... I don't think the albatross that I'm making reaches even halfway to that length. Sadly, I could not do a correction to make the bird smaller because it might destroy the sad graffito technique. If you think this is the end, you're wrong, folks. I later realized that the tail was too short. I had to redo it after two hours because I was so bothered with it. But after a few minutes, I had to repaint the tail again. Mom told me it's still too short, so I had to do it all over. The problem with this one is that the paint was still too wet to paint on. So the dark colors would mix with the white paint when I tried to cover it, making the tail a little dirty white, not pure white as I wanted it. But I only got a weekend to finish this work. Besides, I want this done soon. After much retouch, I hope this is the final output. Does it look like an albatross? Let me know your thoughts. See you soon!